I'm Kurt, N7QJM. Today we're continuing our series on ham radio. And this, of course, is the microphone. You can actually tune the frequency up and down. You can hear the beeps. You can actually tune uh, across the band. This is, of course, a push to talk, a PTT, as you can see it right, you might be able to see it right there. That's the microphone. So we've got the call book, and it's kind of a general thing that people use anymore. And I'll show you a little bit of the call, what I actually fill it out. I'll keep the date, and then the calls in the second column. And then, uh, uh, obviously, this column here, the third column, is uh, the frequency, my frequency. And then we're talking the call signals. And most of those I don't record, but I usually record the frequency that I'm on, his signal strength, and the time of start, and the time of ending, and then any notes or comments that I have right in this area here. This one's done on contesting, so it tells you the type of operations that's used. Okay, these connectors here are actually for interfacing the ham rig, this guy here, to a computer. You would actually use this type of connector, it's a DIN connector, that comes out of the back of our rig here, and it would plug into a computer via a serial port uh, called a DB9. Also, by using uh, that type of connector as well, you could connect using one of these mini plugs onto the handhelds. You could control and record information from the uh, normal transceiver into the computer as well. So those are the parts to actually interface. Be sure to put comments down, and uh, if I can be of any help, go ahead and send an email. My email address is online there as well, and we'll try to assist you, or at least steer you in the right direction for amateur radio operating. Again, it's N7QJM. We are off in 73s.